So hey everyone, we're back again. Lift, Jim, Ronnie, we're celebrating 25 years. 25 years. 25 years with Lift. Can you believe it? Woo woo! The party's still going on, yep. and we're doing we're our 25 uh, stories for our 25 years. And today we thought we'd go back and dig into the recesses and pull out our first volunteer ever, Jane Petrak. We, Janie. We like to call her Janie. Jimbo. Hey, Jane. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Jim. How are ya? I'm okay, just much older. <laughs> <laughs> We're so glad you could join us today from Missouri. Yeah. Yep. We miss you in Orlando. We do miss having you here. Well, I miss Orlando, but it was too hot. <laughs> Yeah, it's hot. So she that's went to sure. the cold instead. Yeah. Oh man. Well, we miss all the times we um, got in trouble together for sure. Like we. That was fun. We've done a lot of things over the years with Lyft and just as friends. And you know what I was thinking about the other day? I think your husband and I were talking about it when the Walmart saw. Oh yeah. Yeah. My car crashed at Walmart. Yeah. When that your was car, fun. your car got crashed at Walmart, but, and they actually fixed it and and like paid you to have a driver, and I got to drive you around, and we did that, oh, yeah. and I got paid. <laughs> it was great. It was, that great. was the best yeah. ever. <laughs> Want somebody to wreck your car? Get Walmart to do it, because boy, they are all about. They don't want to be on no sixty minutes. As yeah. Well. yeah. That's yeah, exactly. I, I'm not sure it's reflective in the screen, but um, uh, Jane also sits in a chair and. Um, we used to say that uh, her and Jim, Jim were twins because, what was it, same, Jane? Same hair, same, same chair? Hair, same hair. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, Janie. <laughs> Man, we had a lot of great times. Uh, I remember anytime we needed someone to sit at a table and just hand out brochures and talk to people, Jane was the person to do that. That's for sure. Yeah. You I'm love good to at talk. singing and handing out. Yeah. You're good at talking too, aren't you? She is yeah. never short on words. That's for sure. <laughs> you can always talk. So Jane, <laughs> tell us, tell our viewers what, what brought you to Lyft? Well, what brought me to Lyft probably is what brought me to Orlando, which is my husband. Um, he got a job, a new job uh, in Orlando and we moved there from Missouri and he, he found a church, which was Greenway Church, and went there. And lo and behold, who was there greeting at the door? Jim and Renette. So yep. that is how we met. That's it. I mean, you guys just rolled in, and rolled we in and... we we got to know you a little bit that day, and then things just happened from there on. Man, we just mm -hmm. we built a. We just were really uh, fortunate to have a great volunteer. Well, no, a great relationship with each other yes and yeah. uh, it was really cool i don't know if you remember this jane but when we when you started volunteering you know we you you pulled me aside and you said and i you could probably remember this better than i can but something to the effect of you never thought about like having a disability yourself would be helpful to others and sharing just mm -hmm. your struggles and you remember that yeah. yeah it's interesting that i've been a paraplegic now for 60 years but so back then, yeah, back then it was 40 something or whatever. But um, yeah, I'd never been involved in any kind of ministry to, to other disabled people. I just, I was just busy with my own life and I'd never gotten around to it. So it was yeah. interesting to meet you guys and look at things from a different perspective. Yeah. Like what, what do I have to share to the disabled community? Yeah, absolutely. You, would you mind sharing everyone's a little bit of your story? Well, um, in 1963, that's a long time ago. Um, I was three I, years old, Jane. <laughs> I was four, I was 14, so not much older than you. Um, our family went on a kind of a last minute shopping trip from, we were in Georgia, from South Georgia to, we were going to Atlanta. We didn't get very far in bad weather and our car hydroplaned and was hit by another car and, um, Three members of my family um, died, my mom, my cousin, my grandma, and I was paralyzed. I'm a T8 paraplegic and have been, like I said, for 60 years. Um, Lord's been good to me. At, I did everything I was going to do anyway with a lot of stops in hospitals along the way, but mm -hmm. here I am. So. And you have, a, you have a, a husband and a family? Oh, I do. I have two, one, a great husband, same husband for... 
my first husband for 48 years. <laughs> and, and That's a long my, time. <laughs> a long time. And my, um, let's see, my daughter is a missionary with her family, with her husband and family in Japan. Yeah. And they've been missionaries for many years now. And my, uh, they were just preparing to be missionaries when we were, we were there. I know one time they stayed at your house for the summer while you mm -hmm. were traveling. And then they left to go to Scotland for my son-in-law to get his graduate degree. Now they're in Japan and they have three children. So I have three grandchildren, the oldest wow. of which is already 21, you guys. Wesley's 21 wow. years old. Wow, is he really? You believe it? Yeah, and then, um, my son lives here in Missouri and he is happily married to Ivy and he has two little girls that are six and eight. So that's they're, crazy. They're fun age, yeah. So that's the other one's fun, Jane. An old. Yeah. <laughs> you've, seen a, you've seen a lot of life, Jane, and you've overcome a lot to still be here with us. I yeah. think when I met you, you were already planning your funeral. And so here well, you are. Well, I still am. <laughs> Recently, I re-upped that idea. Let my daughters <laughs> I've been planning my funeral since I was 10. It's just, <laughs> I'm a control freak and I want I want it like I want it. And yeah. I won't be there to handle it, so I have to prepare now. <laughs> so tell us, Tell us one of your most vivid memories of your time at Lyft. Mm. Can you remember back that far, old lady? So I'm trying. Uh, let me think. Uh, probably the moms group that getting yeah. together with moms of uh, disabled kids, that mostly disabled kids. And there was an interesting group, just four or five ladies that we met at the office. And then we did some other activities. Like I especially remember we had a, uh, uh, barbecue and a swim day at my apartment complex. And oh yeah. Dur during the day, there was nobody there, and it's beautiful um, pool. And those kids were like fish when they hit the water. It's like a different yeah. environment for them, and, and it was just awesome. Those ladies were really some really great people. And I know, I think it was uh, Jenny Vanderstreet just passed away this last year. We yeah. had some. Yeah. Great moms, great kids, and just like I said, gave me a new perspective on um, how blessed I was in my life because I didn't live a life that a lot of handicapped people live. Like I had a very supportive family and community the whole time. So yeah. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to just be normal. So, <laughs> <laughs> so do you now, remember any like the roles or responsibilities that you had when, when we were? Yeah, I think you appointed me as the volunteer chairman. Uh, head mm -hmm. of volunteer. We didn't have a lot of volunteers. We had a uh, Faye, and I remember when Faye came, and yeah. um, and when Nancy came to work for you, that was lots of fun. Nancy eventually ended up living with me, going to nursing school. So yeah, that's uh, right. Lived with us, so she became a part of our family. And um, I remember when Ronnie had went to work that first year to at. Um, Chick-fil-A, as my grandkids oh, call it. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> yeah, remember that? Back in the days when that I had to like, take a job so we could afford yeah, things. That was the yeah. You had to take a job. You, we, you were pulled, and so were we. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, we, um, yeah, and I would go over and fix gym lunch. And oh, you man. could always tell I'd been there because I turned the air conditioning so low that when <laughs> home you were freezing, you said, Jenny's been here. So. That still ah, happens to me today. That still Jenny. happens. Yes, you everybody in this office argues with Jim about how hot it is, and then we turn it down, and he goes in his office and shuts the door with his space eater. <laughs> That's so great. I believe it. Yeah, I, I everywhere I went in Orlando, I had the air conditioning as cold as it would go. <laughs> oh yeah, man, you your, house, work, your apartment in the house was always cold. It was freezing. I would tell people, if you're coming over, bring a sweater because you'll be cold. <laughs> More like a parka for me. Yeah, it was cold. I, there was always like frost on my windows in Orlando or condensation. From, yeah, like, yeah, so yeah, cold. yeah. Well, we appreciate you being a part of the sure hot doing. here and investing all mm -hmm. your... Man, we, we said often that Jane was the one that brought the party. Like, she would keep the energy going and... Um, Let's have fun. Yeah, yeah. like... Just helped not just the moms, but but the the kids that were involved, the dads that were involved. Like you were always um, doing such a great job of uplifting people and um, 
trying to get them to look at life a little differently than maybe what they were thinking in that moment. So, man, I still wish you were here. I wish you could see the growth, Jane. It's been. I've been watching you carefully on with your newsletters and your, and your, and Facebook and stuff. And I've been amazed. I, I've said to Mark a couple of times, this is that, um, well, we used to call it Elias. Remember that? Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, but, uh, Lyft has actually come into its own that it's, you know, everything we dreamed of back then, it seems like you're doing right. now. And it's that's yeah. exciting. It's not just one thing or one idea. It's reaching out in multiple ways. And it's impressive. Yeah. I am well, proud. you were one of the seed planters for sure. <laughs> A lot I'm of your so ideas well. and your investment of time was what made that thing grow. So um, we certainly Thank appreciate you. you being a part of things. And I think to you, like any, any day you had that was, you were just down in the dumps. James, Jane would come in and just change us, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, we do just, something silly. Do something silly. Yeah. We love you so much, Jane. Well, so what was, you. tell us for you personally, what was one of the most impactful things for you personally that, that, that happened in your heart or in your life during that time? Well, I think like I mentioned before is I never really looked at, um, thought much about the disabled community. And as a Christian, I believe in ministry and I've been involved in all kinds of ministries, but um, to minister to, uh, to be uh, involved in the disability community was really a new thing for me. I have friends who were disabled, like that I went to college with or whatever, a few, but it, but I didn't really, um, integrate into that community at all until I met you guys. Right. And like I said, I was, uh, it, it really showed me how God had blessed me with the family and community I had. And I wanted to be able to offer some of that to other disabled people that, you know, you can keep living a good, relatively normal life despite the challenges. So. I think I kind of remember a little bit of a conversation we had back then that was about, um, about us, you know, people who have disabilities that Mm -hmm. have the capability of serving and helping other people and the responsibility Mm -hmm. that we have to make sure that the people with disabilities that are following us come along in that same thought and mind that, you know, we should be contributors and be a part of that process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Well, Jane, it's been great to have you on. We could talk forever. We could talk. But then forever. our listeners would just drop off after a few yeah, minutes. Yeah, they'd, so. they'd quit. That'd be the end yeah. of it. <laughs> so we just thank you so much for all that you did. Like Ronnie said, you were a seed planter. And we just are so grateful. We're grateful for, for you and Mark and, and all the years we've shared together. And 100%. the same goes for you guys. I mean, we've had some awesome times. We've spent a lot of holidays with you guys since we were from out of state. And yep. we had our son's wedding reception in your backyard. I mean, oh, we did yeah. fun stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's fun. So much. <laughs> so much. That's what family does, right? So much good stuff, I tell you. <laughs> well, is. Jane, thanks for joining us today. Thank uh, you. We loved having an opportunity to just ch- talk with you and, and just reminisce a little bit and come and visit okay all right (laughs) right. love you janie we love you too bye-bye